Welcome back to Channel. It's me, Engineer Hall. I'm my way home from work. Now I stopped by Yankee Dabbler. Heard somebody was in the building. So I stopped by and saw that the East Coast Circus was there. So I decided to check it out and see what they was offering was new or um, something I didn't know or aware of. If you don't know, now you know about this product. Yes, it's the sensor. Sensors here because it's going from left to right. There's another sensor around that. Once it passes the other sensor, it'll time out. And the circuit goes back to, to normal. Now let me stop because the track is dirty. Now you see how all this, the crossing lights went to red? Uh -huh. Yeah, see, it's the track's a little dirty. But you can see it crossed it. Now it's going to pass the next next sensor, and it shuts off, and the traffic lights go back to its normal pattern. That's pretty neat. Thank you. So uh, tell me about the, the circuit board. So the circuit board will work for 9 to 12 volts DC only, suggesting to get a 9 volt or a 12 volt DC wall. Do not use a power supply. It'll handle up to 16 LEDs. And I'm going to point and probably cast a shadow, so if it goes out, this 4, 8, 12, 16 LEDs powered by the one circuit. You can only use 16, no more. Now, this is what we call the traffic light preemption circuit. This is a retail of $35, and basically it's an add-on to the crossing signal circuit. So if you have your train layout similar to this, depending on how many roads, when it hits the approach sensor, it'll change all the traffic lights to red, go past the island, and now everything goes back to green, red because different type of traffic. Uh -huh. Okay. Move. There it goes. Passes the approach sensor. Excuse me. Crosses the island. clears the island, lights go off the crossing, and the traffic lights go back to normal. Cool. It's a neat product. Thank you. Uh, the kit has eight sensors in it, because mm -hmm. the this circuit will do two tracks, bi-directional. You get four 24-inch approach sensors, which are the sensors that go over here, and you get for 12 inch sensors for your island for either direction now if you need a larger approach you just add more wire to the uh, leads on the sensors we give you plenty of wires are included in the packaging okay cool and how long does it take to uh, set it up or it depends on the um the user it depends on the user it depends on how savvy he is with drilling holes and running the wires where he's going to position it and everything uh, it really doesn't take long. Uh, East Coast Circuits has made these so that it's very easy for beginners to use. Wow. That's, and again, that's why our circuit only costs twenty dollars. Oh, so. I ain't bad at all. It's a good price point. Yeah. Now, to say the wall work, I'm gonna step by real quick. The wall work is basically a mm -hmm. nine to twelve volt DC wall. power supply. Now okay. we have it set up here, obviously, so we take this to do shows and everything. But you just you can go online to eBay or Amazon or maybe check with Yankee Dabbler to see if they have any uh, you know twelve volt one amp power supplies because you don't want to put too you know too much in there. But the instructions explicitly state nine to twelve volt DC only. You cannot use a power supply, either the fixed or variable, because it's really not twelve volts coming out of there. Nor can you use the power from your DCC because DCC puts out about fourteen. 14 volts that's no good either mm. so that's what we recommend because you put more than 12 volt dc in there you're just going to blow it now if they do blow it is it like insurance or they or it's uh you gotta take it bad they can replace it or well we we have an you know a 90 day warranty uh, you know regarding defects mm -hmm. so I mean, we hope most people are smart enough to read the directions. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah, not everybody reads the directions. <laughs> but if you read the directions and you follow directions, you should have no issues whatsoever. I mean, unless, 
it's damaged. And we can tell if it's a manufactured defect because we assemble them and make them here in the USA. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, they're made up in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, and we can tell if someone put more than 12 volt DC <laughs> into it, you know, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, cool. Well, thank you. This is our, this is our random lighting circuit. Mm -hmm. It goes in and out of a building. Uh, it'll handle up to six LEDs. All right. Uh, then from here, we've got our burning fire circuit, which simulates a fire in a building. You just add on a couple of orange or yellow LEDs or whatever, and it just flickers like crazy. And you put it inside the building. All right. Then we have our traffic light circuit. A lot of people, they don't have you know tracks that they're crossing over, but they have an intersection, whatever, on their layout because they're, they're building a scene. So they'll use our traffic light circuit. And it's, you know, it's pretty easy. And then the last circuit uh, is our antenna circuit. This is, you can use it on top of the building to s simulate like a, a strobe. We'll work with uh, day or night. So there's a sensor that you get with it. And if you cover the sensor on it and you hook it up, it's going to show a nighttime. You can use a red. So if you get like a bicolor LED, a white and red LED, and you put it on the top of your building. You know how like buildings are closer to like airports or whatever, and they've got the lights on them? Mm -hmm. So during the day, you will put the, the, the white strobe on it, and at night, you'd put the red strobe on it. Wow. Okay. All right? Cool. That's all of our circuits for now. That's for now? All right. Check them back with Yankee Dabbler because they'll be carrying more of our circuits down the road. So there you have it. He explained the product that we saw on the diorama. And also he explained other products that he has available. You know, if you guys want to check it out, go look them up online. If you want to uh, purchase, of course, go to YankeeDabbler.com. And, uh, or you sum up. Remember, use engineer code, engineer hall as the code and check out to receive uh, a discount on the products. All right. Oh, one more thing. And for them guys that want American made stuff, you got a product there's American made. Just saying. <laughs>